Hey guys, I want to talk about how I do a quick stream uh, using a uh, much more efficient protocol than RTMP uh, to send signal to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, um, Sideline HD, Game Changer, what have you. Um, RTMP just doesn't cut it, in my opinion, when using cell phone signal. Um, cell phones are just not reliable. Uh, they drop co connection and uh, you have a lot of latency and so you really need a um, a protocol that was developed specifically for these unstable networks and being able to have a continuous stream and so uh, I do that in a, in, a, in a multitude of different ways but this is my this way I'm going to show you right now is my quick way uh, when I'm coaching at a game where I can just show up set it and forget it um, so let me go ahead and cut to my other camera here and show what I'm talking about so let's go to camera three here we go um, okay we're ready so this is, uh, this is my GoPro, one of my GoPros, um, and got a cable connected into the back, and then it's gonna come down here and connect into this encoder. And this is, this is what's doing all the magic. So the HDMI cable plugs into the back of this encoder, uh, and then, uh, anyway, we've got these, this is for the Wi-Fi signal, and here's the battery, right? It's a self-sustained battery. And just so you know, this battery, I've, I've run it for eight hours now, and we're only, like, here. I mean, it's only a third, that, you know, 25% of the juice is gone. So, I mean, this thing's gonna last a, a tournament plus. So when I get to the field, I um, open up my phone and on my phone, I will connect to uh, the device. This is my laptop that I'll connect to. So I'll click connect to my laptop and I'll get a preview. So I'm at the field and this is now being sent over the internet to my, uh, from my uh, computer back to my phone, so it's got a couple of latency issues, which is why it's a little choppy, no big deal. I don't really care about having a perfect preview of my screen here. It's work. I know it's working fine at home, but then I essentially hit start streaming and then we're golden. And then once I hit start streaming, it, the whole thing goes and that's great. It's perfect, it's all we need. So um, that's how that works and that's it. So essentially I, I, uh, I mount the camera, turn on the encoder, plug it in to the, the GoPro and then hit start streaming and that's it, I'm done. So that's all I have to do at the field, super easy to do. So what do I have to do then before everything happens? So before you start a game, you need to have some prep work to be able to get this to work and you do this prep work once. And once you've done it once, then that's it, you're done. You don't ever have to do it again. So we'll click over to Open Broadcast Studio on my computer and this is what we use to to get this to work. Uh, it's a free software, you can download it. It's amazing, very simple to use. So let me go over to um, the encoder. So this is, let me show you how to set up this encoder initially um, so that you know how to do it. And, and then you set it up once and you're done. I've quite literally set this up once and I don't ever touch it again. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the encoder, um, let me cut here. You're gonna take the encoder and on the back here, you're gonna plug your uh, network cable, you're gonna, plug a network cable into your router at your house. That is something that you have to do. Do it this way. Setting up via Wi-Fi is not really available right now. Um, I mean, it's 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 not set up to, to work like that. So you have to connect via a network connection at home on your router, a hard lot wired connection. Once you've got that set up, then you'll go to your computer and um, you'll type in 192.168.1.168. Um, and then I will go to the, I wanna first set up the the, the Wi-Fi information. So I'm gonna click on the system and then Wi-Fi and I'm gonna type in um, the uh, SSID of my hotspot at the baseball field, which is Walrus. And then I'll type in my password uh, and then I'll leave DHCP enabled. And the reason for that is that I found that this encoder is not super, is, is can be a little finicky with a static IP address. Uh, and then I will also set up a backup profile. And I use the backup profile for my house. So if I'm at home and I need to do some work on this encoder, which I don't ever do, uh, I have my home Wi-Fi set up as well. Um, so that's that's what I do. So I, so I set up my, my SSID and my password and call it good, okay? Once I've got that set up, then I hit apply down at the bottom and, and then it will reboot. Once it's rebooted, then I can actually disconnect the encoder um, and I can connect via Wi-Fi to my hotspot and do all changes from there. Once that's all squared away, then I'll click on the encoder setting, and this is where you set this up once, you'll never have to do this again. You're gonna change your encoding type to H.265. This allows a better compression so that the, you're using 40% less signal, um, less cell phone signal to, for the same quality, or on the corollary side, if you want to use more signal, more cell phone data, you can actually get a better quality data. And now the bit rate, um, 
I you can, this is you can fiddle with this one based upon your signals quality. So at many of my fields, I, I do uh, 3,500 uh, kilobits per second, um, but I'm playing at a field tomorrow where the quality is not as great. So I set it to two. Uh, 1,000 kilobits per second. And so when I'm at the baseball field, this is the only time I will, um, uh, I'll, I'll go live and then I'll check my, my YouTube channel and I'll check the stream. And if the stream is jittery or stuttering, I'll decrease the bit rate and I can do it on the fly right here. Um, and I found that 2,000 uh, kilobits per second works well for the field that I'm playing at. Continuous bit rate. And then forget, ignore all this stuff here go to the SSRT, the SRT push URL. What you're gonna do is you're gonna copy everything I've posted here and you're gonna put it in this field here. Now this you do need to change. So this needs to be your public IP address of your home, of your router. Um, and if you don't know how to do this, this is not for you. But essentially put that public IP address in there and then uh, put your, uh, whatever port you wish. Okay, you can do this, you can do 222223 or 25 or whatever. Um, and then everything else is the same, okay? And then hit enable, and then hit apply, and you're done. And that is now sending, it's gonna send signal out if it makes a connection in OBS. So that's the nice thing, is that if there's no connection, it's actually not gonna send data. Now we need to, in OBS, we'll set this up by um, clicking on this plus arrow here, and then clicking on a, a media source, like so, and we'll just call this a media source, it's fine. Um, and we'll uncheck the local file because we want it coming from the internet. So let's just copy this really quick. So control A, control C that. Paste that there. Very good, that's all good. So I need to change this from listener mode here to caller mode. And I'll put a link to this at the bottom so you don't have to do this yourself. Caller, done. That's done, we'll uncheck this. Done, we're done. That's all you need to do. And now, that's it. So, um, like I say, this is this is all the setup you need to do um, uh, when you're at the field before the, before you get to the field, and that's it. So, super super easy, much stabler signal. SRT using the encoder the encoder HEVC or H.265 is another name for it, is significantly better, 40% better. This is the way you should be doing things. Uh, SRT is just built for cell phone uh, 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 transmission of video feeds, and so you'll have a much better feed. Now, uh, this is also interesting because if you want to multicast to other services, uh, OBS will allow you to do that. And the, the reason why I'm doing this is that um, I, can't, I can't send SRT to YouTube. I can't send, um, it's not true. I can't send SRT and HEVC to YouTube. I can't send SRT and HEVC to Game Changer or Sideline HD. It has to be an RTMP. So I have to have a method whereby um, the compute, where I send the signal um, and then have a computer transcode it and then send it out. Here at my house, I've got plenty of data. It's very stable. So I can then use a, an inferior protocol like RTMP and H.264 to send to uh, Silent HD or Game Changer and it works out great. So that's why I do it this way. Um, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. All right, thanks.